Zinger chain termination method. In this method, using the sample DNA as a template, a unidirectional DNA primer is added, and DNA is synthesized in a test tube by DNA polymerase. However, it was designed into four reactions, each of which contains the four deoxynucleotides DNTPs and small amount of one kind of dideoxynucleotides DDNTPs, the analogs of deoxynucleotides. During the synthesis of a new DNA strand, five prime end of the DNTPs will be added to the three prime OHs of the primers forming phosphodiester bonds, and this addition carries out until a DDNTP is encountered. Since the DDNTP lacks 3' OH, it cannot continue to bond with the next nucleotides, and the elongation of the DNA cannot proceed. According to this principle, some synthetic reactions will terminate at the analog of a specific nucleotide, forming DNA fragments of various lengths. Using gel electrophoresis for separation, the DNA sequence can be sequentially read from gel bottom to top. In the early stage of this method, radioactive labeled primer was used for detecting DNA fragments. After subsequent continuous improvement, different fluorescent tags are used to label different DDNTPs. This, in combination with PCR techniques and capillary electrophoresis, enabled the automation of the reaction and interpretation, which greatly increases the speed, accuracy, and detection length.